Friend, we were never going to be ready for Roger Federer to leave tennis, but certainly not like this. He was all set to make his official return at the Swiss Indoors in Basel, but the maestro just announced a surprise retirement from the sport. Now as it stands, he might not even play at the Laver Cup. And in today's video, we're talking about this super, super heartbreaking news. Let's get started. First up, Federer may already be retired. Well, that's something we hoped we'd never have to say out loud. But as things stand, the Swiss legend isn't a certain starter for the Laver Cup, despite announcing that it would be his last event before retirement. The 41-year-old hadn't played a professional game since losing to Hubert Hurkacz in the 2021 Wimbledon quarterfinals. Since then, he's undergone another surgery on his right knee, and the maestro was taking his recovery process slowly, but still, he didn't get back to full fitness as he'd hoped. So on 15th September, Fed posted a statement that he was retiring. He said that the Laver Cup was going to be his last event, but recent news tells us that he isn't feeling well enough to play in London either, and if that's true, it means that we've already seen the last of Roger Federer. Next up, Federer's team gives an update. This comes from the most reliable source there is, and we don't have all the good news. Pierre Paganini, Roger's fitness coach, revealed that the star was racing against time to be ready to play at the Laver Cup. He said that Fed will probably decide at the last moment whether he can still participate. Paganini shared that the 41-year-old had taken as much advice as possible to see if it was a good idea, and he was excited about the event. Severin Luthi, Roger's coach, admitted that he he was hoping to play a singles or doubles game. He said it wasn't definite yet, but Fed had been training hard for weeks. He stated that the legend's aim was to play something, but it was yet to be seen what it was. Following this, how long did the decision take? We're having such a hard time with Roger leaving, we can only imagine what he went through. Paganini commented that the statement didn't come as a surprise. Speak for yourself, Pierre. He said that Fed had been considering calling it a day on his career since July. He also shared that the maestro had asked his entire team for advice, and it was a very emotional a moment, but it was discussed soberly. After all, it was a super important decision, one that players only made once in their life. Paganini revealed that Raj had deep emotions about it, and he showed them too. We can only imagine what a hard yet comforting conversation that must have been. We couldn't be prouder of Federer. Coming up, what has Raj said about this? As it turns out, he's actually at peace with his decision. He shared that he plans to bring his career to a close with Rafa Nadal at the Laver Cup. Fed said that he knew it was the right decision to walk away from tennis at this stage. Previous Previously, the 20-time Grand Slam champion has shared that there's no point in playing if you can't be competitive anymore, and it seems like this was the moment he realized that. Also, he stated that tennis was only a part of his life, not his whole life, and he was looking forward to having some free time and being closer to his family. Now, Raj said that it took him some time to get used to the idea of not playing tennis professionally anymore, but he knew it was something he needed to do. Moving on, Nadal shows up for Federer. Folks, imagine having a rival like this, Rafa, who's going through a lot in his personal life right now, put everything aside to show up in London for Roger's final match. If that's not true friendship, we don't know what is. After Fed posted his statement, Rafa was one of the first people to respond. He commented that he had hoped this day would never come, and it was a sad day for him personally. You and all of us, Rafa. But he was there when his biggest rival needed him. Fedal graced the 0-2 for the last match on 23 September, the last game of Federer's career. Needless to say, it was a super special moment. The pair was up against Team world's Francis Tiafo and Jack Sock. While the veterans managed to take the first set pretty comfortably, the second set went to their opponents, and then the match tiebreak also didn't go their way. But it didn't, for a second, feel like a loss. It was all celebrations for the Swiss maestro and his one-of-a-kind career. Up next, Roger Federer says goodbye. Where do we even begin? As soon as the match ended, everybody in the arena came to their feet for the Swiss legend. Understandably, the emotions in the stadium were running high. Fed was in tears, as were his teammates, as was was the sold-out crowd. The 41-year-old took a few laps of the court and waved to the crowd while tributes were pouring in from every corner of the world. Moments later, Raj walked toward his one final interview with Jim Courier. He started by saying, we'll get through this somehow, won't we? He talked about how special the night had been for him and that he wasn't sad, he was happy. He said he wanted it to be a celebration and it had been exactly that. The 20-time major champion thanked Rafa and the rest of his team for being there. And folks, every single person who was watching this historic moment was emotional. Finally, Federer talks about his family. Courier asked Raj about his family, and that's when he completely broke down. He said that he was forever grateful for his wife, Mirka, who had allowed him to play till now. She could have stopped him a long, long time ago. He thanked his parents and stated that nothing would have been possible without them. Afterward, his entire family came out, and it was a sight to behold. He embraced Mirka for the longest hug and told his kids that he wasn't sad. Everybody was in tears, and it was the perfect goodbye for Roger Federer. Now, we never would have been okay with the maestro 
Pedro leaving, but were glad it all came to a close like this, surrounded with just so much love. His teammates had only wonderful things to say about him. In his speech, Fed said that he had always thought he was a team player at heart, so it was super nice to see that he had so many people around him for his farewell. It's what he deserved. And now that he'll never play on the tour again, let's all come together and celebrate the greatest player ever to pick up a racket. There will never be another like you, Raj. Thanks for everything. Now, let's move on to some other related news. First up, Emma Raducanu withdraws from the Transylvania Open. The 2021 US Open champion has been struggling a lot recently. Ever since her record-breaking Grand Slam victory, she hasn't been able to find her groove. Not only has she not been in the best form lately, she's also had to deal with quite a few injuries. Just a week and a half ago, she withdrew from her Korea Open semifinal against Yelena Ostapenko with a wrist injury. And that same problem will also keep the 19-year-old out of the Transylvania Open, which was scheduled to be her last WTA Tour event of the season. Still, fans are keeping their fingers crossed that she'll be ready to play for Great Britain in Glasgow next month. Next up, Carlos Alcaraz fails to win his first match as number one. Spanish teenager Carlos Alcaraz is probably the most exciting player in the world right now. He's been doing incredibly well, and after his historic maiden slam victory at Flushing Meadows, many have dubbed him as the boy who's going to challenge the big three. But here's the thing, tennis is super unpredictable. You never know what's going to happen. In the first round of the Astana Open, he lost in two sets to David Goffin. This is the first time the Spaniard has lost in straight sets since November 4 last year, when he was bested by Hugo Gaston in the Paris Masters. Finally, Nick Kyrgios is in the Japan Open quarterfinals. Folks, he's back after his break, and he's as good as ever. He booked his place in the quarterfinal after a three-set win over Kama Majirak. He'll be playing Taylor Fritz for a spot in the Final Four. After his match with Majirak, the Aussie revealed that he didn't have a single doubt in his mind that he'd win the game even after he lost the first set. He said he had full faith in his game right now, and all he had to do was get back to playing quick and aggressive tennis. Well, it's the only way he knows how. That's a wrap for this video. What did you guys think about Roger Federer's farewell event? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.